Yeah, we cover weather and traffic every 10 minutes on KBOI 2 News this morning. If you're getting ready to head out the door for uh, perhaps work on this Monday, you survive the temperatures, but you're going to have to survive them one more day? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so one. we had the heat yesterday, and then today we'll get a little bit hotter just to kind of finish it out before a little cool down comes our way. So we've been dealing with the heat through the weekend. Today, close to 100. Ooh. Almost don't like saying that. Got the uh, wrong graphic here popped up for you, so we'll fix that shortly. Uh, again, we've got a scorcher on the way for your Monday, but the good news is things are going to cool off as we get into Tuesday. A little bit of a breeze coming up into play for us behind a cold front that moves through tonight, and then we're sunny and comfortable uh, for the remainder of the work week, or at least more comfortable. We'll still be warm, but nothing we haven't seen this time of the year. All right, we're at 62 at Bogus Basin, 40s to low 50s in the mountains, a spectacular shot over McCall. Just a few clouds draped over Payette Lake early on today. 66 here in the downtown Boise area. This view, courtesy of the Disaster Cleanup Camera Network, uh, can see again some of the construction popping up downtown right there along Capitol Boulevard, stretching out toward the train depot. Mid 60s, again, winds about 8 miles an hour. It is mild out there to start. We're cooling off into the upper 50s in some places, mostly out on the western edge of the state. Uh, Mountain Home, though, at 64. 40s and 50s in the high country. You know where we're going. We're going to the 80s in the mountains, 90s around here. Uh, satellite and radar showing nothing but clear skies. So blue skies and sunshine to wake you up on this Monday morning. At least that helps, right? We know Mondays are tough. Uh, satellite and radar just showing a little bit of activity up in central Oregon and moving into eastern Washington. But I think throughout the day today, we are going to see showers and thunderstorms increase in coverage, possibly a few of them trying to sneak through our backyard too. So let's talk about the risk for thunderstorms. If we do see any today at all, we're just under that risk for more general thunderstorms. Nothing severe, but as you get out toward uh, central Oregon up into eastern Washington, we could see a few of those storms turning a little bit stronger. So if you are traveling in that direction or have loved ones coming from that direction, may run into a little bit more active weather out that way. So with these uh, models that we look at, a couple things doing showing very different things. So the models not necessarily agreeing with themselves this morning as far as what's going to happen with the thunderstorms. We just know the ingredients are there that could produce a few of those thunderstorms. So this particular model may be showing one stray shower or storm moving through about seven o'clock tonight. And again, timing can change with these. Uh, but generally incre increased cloud cover across the region, maybe a storm here or there, and then moving on pretty quickly. We're clear by tomorrow morning. One other model we look at, though, does show a little bit increased activity, a little bit more coverage with the showers as we get into the afternoon and evening, showing some of those storms popping up in southeast Oregon, maybe stretching into southwest Idaho as we get a little later into the evening, too. So late afternoon through the evening, best window for those storms. Otherwise, just a mixture of sun and clouds this afternoon, but plenty of sun early this morning. So uh, get out there, go for that bike ride early on. It'll feel more comfortable and that sun will be gorgeous. Daytime high here in Boise, 99 up in McCall. Hey, things are looking really good. Good day to be out on the water. Do watch for a few lightning strikes up in that area too. Temps though, upper 80s, plenty of sunshine early, and then we'll see more clouds again streaming in later. Luckily, all the extreme heat continues to be down around the southeast or southwest. Uh, we are seeing another day where we're going to see those temps approaching the 110, 115 degree mark. Uh, so again, another scorcher down there, excessive heat warnings in play. But for us, we're just looking at the upper 80s in the mountains and upper 90s here in the lower valley. So 98, 99 degrees for those daytime highs. So close to 100, we could get there in some spots. We'll back off into the 50s and 60s overnight tonight. We'll be at 64 here in the Boise area. Tomorrow we'll have a little bit cooler feel. Nice summer breeze in there with temperatures back right around normal for this time of the year. 87 for your daytime high. Mid 80s by the middle of the week and then we'll rebound back into the low 90s for Friday and Saturday. But no more triple digits in the seven day. We'll even hopefully keep shy of that today. So I'm all right reporting that kind of news on a Monday.